okay the next question the next question is the function fx is given by mod of x minus mod of x minus 1 whole square you have been asked to draw the graph of fx and also to check whether the function has any discontinuity. Now, in questions like this, the first thing you need to do is that get rid of the mod sign and find the expression of fx without the mod sign. Now, you know that this function mod of x is equal to x for x greater than or equal to 0 is equal to minus x for x less than 0. So, whatever we have inside the mod sign, whenever it is greater than 0, we have the same value when it's less than 0 we take the negation of that so here in this expression my critical points are 0 at 0 this function changes its sign and 1 where this changes its sign because if i take a value greater than 1 then i have to write this as x minus 1 itself if i take a value less than 1 i have to write this as minus of x minus 1 when i get rid of the mod sign okay so what I'll do is I'll split the function in different intervals. My first interval is x less than 0. Second interval is x lies between 0 and 1. And my third interval is that x is greater than or equal to 1. Now let's see what fx is in these three intervals. When x is less than 0, this is a negative quantity, this is also a negative quantity. Okay, so my mod of x becomes minus x and this becomes minus of x minus 1. Okay, when x lies between 0 and 1, when x lies between 0 and 1, what is mod of x? It's a positive quantity, so I'll write it as x and this one is a negative quantity, so I'll write this as minus 1. Okay. Now, when x, x is greater than 1, when x is greater than 1, what happens? This is a positive quantity. This is also a positive quantity. So, it becomes x minus x minus 1. Now, let's simplify this. What do I get here? I get here minus 1. Sorry. I have a whole square here. So, whatever I get here, I need to square this, okay. So, I have minus 1 square, next is less than 0. Here, I have 2x minus 1 whole square, when x lies between 0 and 1. And here, I have again So now the question is draw the graph of fx. So what I see is for 0 to 1, it's a parabola 2x minus 1 whole square in between 0 and 1, it's a parabola and the parabola has its root at x equals to half. So my parabola looks like this. At x equals to 1, the parabola has a value 1 and x equals to 0, it also has a value 1, okay. Now, when x is more than 1, it's 1, it's a constant value. When x is less than 1, it's again 1. So, my graph looks like this. So, obviously, you can see from the graph that there is no discontinuity in the graph and the graph is a, the function is a continuous function, okay. Next, we move on to our next question.
Next question is a bit lengthy question since it deals with composite functions. The question is f of x is given by 1 plus x when x lies between 0 and 2 it's given by 3 minus x okay so this is the definition of fx the question is gx is f of f of x so you are asked to find gx and then you need to discuss the continuity of gx okay now since this question is quite different i would urge you to try this question on your own now let's see what the solution is f of f of x is what f of here I'll have to replace with fx. Now fx is 1 plus x for this interval and 3 minus x for this interval. So if I write 1 plus x, I have just replaced fx, then x should lie between 0 and 2. If I replace with 3 minus x, x should lie between x 2 and 3. Okay. Now I could also write this as f1 plus x. I'll just divide this into two different intervals from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So I can write this as Okay, what I have done is I have just split this interval into two separate intervals. One is 1 to 2 and the other is 0 to 1. Okay, now again I need to give get rid of this f so that I get a clear expression in terms of g. Now what I will do is let us assume 1 plus x is equal to y. Now if x lies between 0 and 1 obviously y lies between 1 and 2 now if y lies between 1 and 2 you can see that if y lies between 1 and 2 f of y is 1 plus y okay so this one becomes 1 plus y or 1 plus 1 plus x so this is 2 plus x so, I'll, what I'll do is I'll erase this. I'll write here 2 plus x. Now, if x lies between 1 to 2, my 1 plus x is y, y lies between 2 and 3. Okay. Now, if y lies between 2 and 3, then my f of y is 3 minus y. So, f of y f of 1 plus x is what f of y because 1 plus x is y f of y will be 3 minus y when y lies between 2 and 3 right so i will replace this with 3 minus y and what is y y is 1 plus x so it becomes 2 minus x right so this becomes 2 minus x now let's assume 3 minus x as z. Now, when x lies between 2 and 3, minus x lies between minus 3 and minus 2, and 3 minus x lies between 0 and 1, or my z lies between 0 and 1. Now, when z lies between 0 and 1, f of z is 1 plus z. 
ओके और एफ ऑफ थ्री माइनस एक्स इज वन प्लस थ्री माइनस एक्स और फोर माइनस एक्स सो आई रिप्लेस दिस विथ फोर माइनस एक्स सो दिस गिवस माई जी एक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स नाउ लेट्स चेक the continuity at the critical points my critical points are 1 and 2 because at other points the function is obviously continuous at 1 at 1 the left hand limit is equal to what to find the left hand limit i need to check for values slightly less than 1 so i have to use this function so it's 3 and the right hand limit is what Two minus one, it's one. So the left hand limit is not equal to the right hand limit. The function is discontinuous at one. Now let's check at two. At two, the right hand limit is equal to zero. The left hand, uh, the left hand limit is equal to zero. Sorry, and the right hand limit is equal to two. So the, again, the function is not continuous at two. So my points of discontinuity are x equals to one and x equals to two. Okay. 